Hi everyone, The Lone Wolf here and welcome back to EVE Talk, your weekly look at the market in EVE Online. Now, obviously, this EVE Talk session is going to be mainly uh, from the point of view that the Citadel expansion has just been released. And uh, yeah, I've played a decent amount of EVE Online uh, since the expansion. And for me personally, although of course I'm mostly uh, a Care Bear industrialist, I haven't spotted any really game breaking problems or anything like that. It felt like a pretty smooth uh, launch for the Citadel expansion. Um, so let's check out the market and let's see if we can spot an impact. We will start with Plex as always at 40 seconds. And uh, yeah, I think we can spot an impact here. You can see the big jump up in uh, volume here. That is like the day or the day before the expansion hit. And a lot of people did what I did as well. In order to buy my Astraus blueprint, I sold three more plexes. And so I think that this increase in volume is mostly people getting rid of their plexes uh, either to, to buy blueprints for the citadels or possibly as well to dump their plex stocks um, due to the new uh, taxes that, that are on the market. So we can obviously see that the price has gone down substantially. We even have data points close to uh, 900 million, uh, but we're settling at around 950 million for the sellers. In fact, uh, in like the 10 minutes it took for me to really get started on making the video, uh, we dropped another 1 million uh, off of uh, Plexus. They were at selling for 950, the buyers are at 925, and that's only two of them. So these are two things that I noticed here for the first time in a very long time. Um, well, since the summer, we can now buy Plexus below a billion, which is very good news for people that want to Plex their accounts, because honestly, 950 million or 1.2 billion, uh, if you have to make that in 30 days, there, there's, there's a real difference between them. 950 million, if you're doing exploration, that's maybe three lucky exploration sites uh, with, with a few really good drops or something like that that is much more doable than 1.2 billion. What you should also notice here is that due to the taxes, I think that this is a going to be a recurring theme, uh, is that the margin it has increased drastically. If we uh, take out these two uh, buy orders of 925, then we have a margin of 40 million ISK. The normal margin for a Plex used to be somewhere around 13, 14 million, something like that. So three times uh, the margin here. And I really think that due to the increased taxes, uh, part of the rebalancing of the entire market is going to be bigger margins, of course, because people can't trade on these very thin margins if they have to pay much more uh, to do a single trade. So that is something we're definitely going to see. Uh, but that also means that basically you're very likely to be able to buy a Plex for 910 million or something like that if the downward trend has some more momentum. So not good for my personal investment because uh, having bought close to 1.2 billion, I'm now quite a bit in the red on my Plexes. But well, I, I did sell like the day before the expansion hit and I managed to sell them straight away for more than a billion. So from that point of view, let's say that it's not all bad news that uh, I jumped into Plexes uh, way too early. I think it was on this uptrend here somewhere uh, towards 1.2 billion that I actually purchased my Plex. But uh, having bought the Strauss, I can now afford to be patient and uh, so we'll wait um, to see what, what the market does before I decide what to do with my Plexus. I'll pro probably just hold on until the next winter and by that time hopefully we'll be on the upswing again. Uh, the pilot, tr pilot training certificate of course mirroring the Plex quite closely, so going down to uh, 950 million as well on the chart, data points even below uh, 900 million, that's pretty interesting. So 990 million almost for the sellers, but 870 million for the buyers. So here we can obviously see the big difference in margin that's happening. And it looks like it's a buyer market if you look at the, the prices on the chart here, where people are basically uh, selling their trading certificates straight to buyers. Um, in order to create an average price that's close to 950 million. That's quite surprising because this is more than a hundred million margin between the two. 
so I would say that if you are actively trading a lot, uh, you do want to check out uh, all of the new taxes, the impact on those and try to find your opportunities from that perspective. You don't want to make big mistakes because with uh, yeah, with, with big sell orders they, or, or buy orders, uh, these could end up being very costly. Uh, then we've got the uh, rescalp certificate going down a little bit, but not too much, heading towards 250 million. Um, that's actually not that bad. 269 million for the sellers, 221 million for the buyers. Again, you can see a pretty wide margin here, which has uh, basically come about right after the patch hit, right? Um, people just had to get into their new positions. Uh, keeping the new uh, taxes in mind. So honestly, the, the body resculpt here managing to hold on uh, above 250 million, I think it's doing quite all right um, uh, compared to plexus and things like that, showing once again that uh, the body resculpt is its own little market niche. Next up, we've got the skill extractors. These are still going down, so started their um, their introduction at around 300 million they are currently selling for 215 million and the buyers are at 200 million basically except for someone that's willing to buy 98 of them for 205 million so he's really expecting that to be the bottom uh, but it's it's pretty risky and again as uh, 15 million ISK margin here, widening up to 20 million pretty pretty damn quickly. Uh, so this is this is very very interesting. Um, but the skill extractors continue to go down, which of course is in parallel with Plexus as well. And then here we've got the skill injectors that could be interesting as well. Um, a lot of variation uh, since the introduction of the skill injectors, but at the moment we are on a downtrend as well. It could just be the decreased cost of skill extractors that is starting to be factored in here. These are selling for 623 and a half million. The buyers are at 590 million. Again, you can see the much bigger margin between sellers and buyers that has showed up here. So this is this is very very interesting to me personally. Uh, what I'm actually hoping that this will start to indicate much more easily is whether or not we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market. This bigger margin and then having a chart that that will indicate which one of the two is, is winning out could uh, show these swings much more easily. So uh, let's hope that that uh, yeah that I can keep you guys up to date uh, a little bit better on whether or not the buyers or sellers are holding out now that we have much bigger margins, especially on the expensive stuff moving on to minerals 730 uh, let's start here with tritanium the smallest one which is uh, bouncing off of 620 pretty interesting uh, what I do notice here is that we're doing this on pretty low volumes and so this could just be the um, the setting of of the margin here so let's take a look at that uh, sellers in station 635, 638, 639 uh, and the buyers are at 615 and so I, I do think uh, yeah, at, uh, 0.20 is margin here all of a sudden when it comes to volumes and new orders yeah we have a decent amount of new sellers coming in with a billion 300 million 250 250 something like that um, so that's quite all right the buyers though 500 million 1 billion 1 billion here 1 billion here again at 601 um, so this feels decently balanced and this increase in price from 620 to me indicates that uh, when it comes to tritanium the exact opposite has happened to plexus um, so let's let's go for the uh, plex chart here very quickly you can see that that one went down and basically the bottom dropped out of the buy orders so uh, buy orders just got filled with people dumping their plexus and that indicates that yeah, these were winning out there was too much supply for the demand and thus we created the margin by lowering the price and by lowering the buy orders when it comes to the tritanium whoops that one went up in price and uh, i think if we start a chart here below 620 the buyers won't have moved that much they've been able to maintain their current prices but it's the sellers that have basically uh, gone up in price to increase the margin on this one which is which is very interesting because it's the exact opposite of the big ticket items here so far so tritanium going up in price a little bit let's see what pyrite has been doing very similarly uh, reaching a six month low last week at, at 10.5 did i say that this was an opportunity i, I don't think i outright told people to start buying uh, these minerals but 
I, I did find it pretty interesting that so many of them were hitting six month lows and now here we can also see the buy right going up so let's keep 1050 as a price point in mind the buyers are at 1044 the sellers have gone up towards 11 isk which is right here on the chart so the increase in margin for these high stick minerals so far has basically happened by sellers having to go up in price uh, people willing to purchase all of that buy right at lower prices the buyers have managed to stay where they are uh, we also do see pretty strong demand uh, demand here uh, a billion 300 million 300 million again the sellers are 460 million but that's an older order and and not anywhere near that volume so that is that is pretty damn interesting next up we've got mixon surprisingly enough not uh, moving up but uh, slowing its descent at least so let's take a look at that 58 59 all right between 58 and 59 is let's see where we're at here 55.4 uh, for the buyers 59.4 for the sellers so above that margin and here again i do think we now have a four isk margin between the sellers and the buyers and for mixalon neither one seems to have won out uh, so the buyers had to settle for slightly lower prices but the sellers also managed to settle for slightly higher prices and so this is uh, what we get with uh, a sideways uh, ticker uh, in in the last week or so with the launch of the citadel expansion interesting stuff Next up here, let's touch on Isogen that was at a six month low. Uh, obviously crawling back a little bit, but not that much. So if we take the bottom situation here, probably 87, 88 ISK, something like that as the six month low that, that was spotted after yeah, decreasing in price quite drastically. Let's see where we're at now. The bars are at 85.17, so down a little bit from that, that range, but the sellers have gone up to 92.8 ISK, so up from that range as well. Um, the one thing that, that's going to be interesting, I think, from this perspective is a lot of people said that taxes kill trade. And so the question is going to be, uh, are we going to see general lower volumes with those bigger margins uh, in the upcoming weeks? But for Isogen, uh, a slight win on the seller side, so an increase in price, but not uh, a one-sided story because the, the buyers have dropped in price a little bit as well. Next up, we've got Noxium. Um, that was as a, at a six month low and I did I think say that this this must have been an opportunity um, so yeah 436 37 isk at the six month low very bottom big increase in uh, volumes here all, all of a sudden and we can see that the buyers are at 420 but the sellers have gone up to 467 isk um, so this is just basically margin forming right you, you could see this as a big increase in price all of a sudden but no uh, people have basically bought all the Noxium available on the market below 466 ISK and this is going to be the uptick in price and uh, but the, the bottom is now at 420 so that fell even lower as well uh, a 46 ISK margin if you go back to if talks even last week we had very very thin margins in Noxium um, and this is the uh, the tax impact uh, that that is showing up here so I, I really think that that's going to be uh, the big story here and a lot of the fluctuations that we're seeing even on the ticker here Plex down 71 million 10 percent um, it's it's not completely a one-sided story although for Plex for a big part it's going to be because a lot of people have been dumping Plex um, in order to buy blueprints um, but uh, let's say here megasite is coming up next on the stream up 194 isk more than 10 percent i think that the story is not going to be that clear so let's let's start maybe with zydrine we can also see here zydrine start at um, 10,050 ISK went up quite substantially on the charts here towards 1200. Let's take a look at buyers and sellers. Buyers 1121. Let's see where that is. Well, that's actually up a little bit. Yeah. And then the sellers at 1227, creating a margin of more than 100 ISK, uh, which is around 10% of the price for Zydrine, which is also something we've not seen in a very long time. Are the volumes up? Not that much. So that's basically just the market settling at a higher price for Zydrine. I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought maybe the buyer just would stay closer to a thousand isk um, with uh, with this change, but they didn't. Here is make side then a bit of a sharper increase in price. Data points at 1250 uh, started at 1050 as well. 
let's take a look at that 1154 for the buyers 1286 for the sellers so up a little bit more uh, but also a bit more margin here so if we go for side again 1121 make a side 1154 finally we do see make a side being a bit more expensive than side once again uh, but also a slightly bigger margin between the two and uh, so for these it's been an increase in price so the buyers have managed to increase as well their price but it's especially the sellers everything below that has been bought out uh, slight increase in volume so there was not that much available and as a result uh, because um, apparently there was not that much extra supply we went up in price uh, on the chart here as well okay it's it's not exactly the story i was expecting um, but uh, interesting nonetheless and then finally we have more fight that was on a downward spiral also bouncing off of a six month low of 9.6 thousand man if last week you had put a lot of isk in that it's a good opportunity uh, but not on all of them so as i've said uh, for the nozick ones sure the buyer orders have increased in price as well you're bound to be able to make some money on those purchases uh, but for a few of them it's it's not a complete one-sided story so again let's keep in mind 9.6 thousand isk here went up to 10.2 let's see where we are at bars 9.7 thousand so up a little bit but maybe just 100 isk not that much and then the sellers 10,800 isk uh, creating more than a thousand isk margin between the two which again is the taxation that has changed um, which meant that the market had to adjust to that by increasing the margins between them and uh, the next leg of the story I think is going to be volumes so that's it for minerals um, pretty interesting uh, situation let's see what the ships are doing next 1630 so 1630 let's start with the armageddon dropping in price towards 196 million on average so uh yeah we were way above 200 million look but we were at 215 million for months on end with no supply whatsoever let's take a look at sellers and buyers and it's here we see a decrease in price not because the sellers have done anything different we still see pretty much the same armageddon's on the market for around 200 million it's the buyers that have said well i'm no longer willing to buy armageddon's for 190 million or anymore it's below that 188.5 million for the buyers and that is of course because people that want to invest in armageddon's won't be willing to uh, to to buy anything um, if they can't make money on the trade and so that this will be interesting i think we can see low volumes on average here will that last who knows next up here we get the caracal also decreasing in price the buyers are at 10.7 the sellers are at 11.2 uh, big supply that is still available here so uh, this is actually averaging out back to an okay price maybe it is because the caracal is still a very po popular ship and so we still have decently high volume so people still buy a lot of caracals straight from the market um, and so the impact of the lower buy orders has maybe decreased a little bit on this one next up we've got the dominics um, was trying to go up to 200 million which was basically its average but dropped back down to 190 million on average and so 197 for the sellers 182 for the buyers it's pretty obvious that the buyers have gone pretty low on this one as well uh, for these battleships next up we've got the drake also clearly breaking its average on the downtrend here um, volumes they still seem to be quite all right so let's take a look at the buyers and the sellers 52 million for the sellers 48.4 million for the buyers uh, the margin is around 4 million uh, a bit less than that three and a half million so definitely less than 10 percent still a pretty competitive market from the looks uh, we even have recent buy orders and recent sellers on both sides so a uh, decrease in price is a little bit surprising to me um, I, I would have expected uh, Drake's to maybe be able to maintain the status quo of around 54 million but no we're breaking that on the downtrend next up here we get the Mauler very different situation we were at a six month low at around 11 million we're actually heading up towards the average 11.5 11 to 12 million seems to be an okay average to shoot for let's take a look here 
10.5 a seller coming in <laughs> he's gonna bring the price back down for sure that's right here on the chart uh, but the others are at 12 million so I suspect that these will basically get bought no problem uh, but he's selling just above the buy orders which have dropped in price substantially and uh, to my surprise though we have an increase in price shown on the chart um, so 10.5 though is, is right here for the buyers which may have been the points they were at before and so the sellers have gone managed to go up in price um, on this opportunity here quite interesting people may have bought a lot of maulers uh, for like around 11 million everything that was on the market here next up we've got the Myrmidon very similar to the Mauler again going up in price volumes yeah volumes we do see those up as well Mauler yeah, not bad for the volumes here again. So, so it does show, I think, that Myrmidons will have been bought out as well. Uh, let's keep 53 million in mind. Buyers go, have had to go lower 2 million as well, 51 million, but sellers 58 million on the chart. The average used to be around 54 million. So this is again the margin forming. And here for the Myrmidons, it's mostly the sell orders that have been basically bought out by the market. Uh, the buyers had to go a bit lower as well, but not buy that much. So here again, we see the Myrmidon go up in price on average on higher volumes. Then we've got the Oracle going down on lower volumes. Yeah, we're, we're definitely starting to see uh, these trends here, which means that the buyers 75 million, but we started out above 80 million. Um, so the buyers have gone down drastically to 67 million. The sellers had to go lower as well to 78 million. So the Oracle has gone down in price drastically. Um, 11 million is margin on the oracle way more than 10 percent that's pretty damn big i do think that there are actual opportunities in some of these as well if you expect them to go back and be priced maybe when a few fleets are formed um, so this could actually open up uh, bigger margins but of course keep in mind that uh, the taxes are going to eat up a lot of that Next up here we get the raven also going down in price uh, hesitated apparently because we do have some higher than average volumes here so the buyers are uh, at 161 and a half million that's not a lot for a battleship the sellers are at 185 million um, so that went down in price basically the, the buyers had to go down uh, all of these buy orders above that have been filled out uh, next up we've got the stabber managing to maintain surprisingly around 10.5 million a little bit of downward pressure here um, 10.5 let's keep that in mind here yeah, 8.5 for the buyers 10.4 to 10.5 for the sellers here again it's bars that have been filled out and uh, we're dropping in price next up we've got a tornado also dropping but already bouncing back dropping off of 68 million uh, average before that 76 sellers are now at 72 buyers are at 66 that's pretty drastic actually definitely a decrease in price there next up we've got typhoon again really really low the buyers are that's not going to be pretty 160 million for the buyers of typhoons sellers are at 175 million and finally we've got the vexor dropping below 11.5 billion in a, uh, yeah, in a sustained manner but this is not all too drastic so let's take a look at that again let's keep 11.5 to 12 million in mind here uh, the buyers are at 10 point 8 million but the sellers are at 11.8 million so here again the vexor is that exception to the rule that actually has both the buyers going a bit lower and the sellers going a bit higher uh, managing to maintain its price slightly higher volumes of course these orders had to be filled out on both sides but this is really um, the the exception here uh, the ones that that show a clear difference are the oracle i mean that margin is just absolutely huge uh, it's difficult to say whether or not buyers are going to come in on this margin or whether it's going to be more sell orders that are starting to that, that will go lower very difficult to say and then we also have uh, a few winners if i can find them like the myrmidon bouncing off here higher volumes and here it's actually the sellers that have mainly been able to go higher here really interesting completely changing uh, a lot of the dynamics in this market Next up, take two. Let's see if uh, trade opportunities can be spotted here. 24 minutes. Uh, I think that that's going to be difficult to gauge here at first. So we may have to completely change our outlook on the market. 
could it be that there are some trade opportunities in the tech one chips because of those big margins i think it's it's actually possible uh, i can also see great opportunities for industrialists in those so here we've got the basilisk holding the price of 200 million in between the lows and the highs so i wouldn't spot uh, either a buy or sell opportunity here sir Barris, could you be interesting no definitely not holding on at 210 million bottom 180 top to 260 i wouldn't really make a move on either of these here's the claw dropping towards 18 million that's actually pretty interesting with a uh, top at 34 million here decreasing volumes um buyers are at 16.5 sellers are at 16.7 that that can't be healthy this can't be healthy to be honest uh, so here we also have sellers at 20 million uh, but there's just no demand for these which is quite surprising to me uh, because i'm going to share like a, a shower thought that i had don't take this as as um as something that that you should definitely do you know this is just me uh, coming up with a sort of a theory but i think that investments in tech 2 for the longer term could be interesting because as ccp has said that with the uh, with the launch of the drilling platforms this winter they are planning to tackle moon mining and since moon mining is tied very heavily to the tech 2 ships i think that there could be a great opportunity here admittedly it's a big gamble if they actually open up the spigots with these um, with these drilling platforms it could be a terrible mistake uh, but if you expect that the disruption of moon mining could have a big impact on tech 2 ships then for the longer term it is something to look into and buyers at 16.5 million for claws could be a pretty good opportunity so yeah, close pretty low here. Next up, we've got the Guardian also heading towards 130 million. The buyers are at 126 million. It remains a gamble, but if you do still see volatility coming in the Tech 2 market, the Guardian could be all right on the buy orders. Next up, we've got the Hound also dropping in price, but that doesn't look like it's low enough. Although the buyers, yeah, no, at 19 million and then 20 million for the for the sellers. Uh, no, that's still too much in between. We've we've gone as low as six, 17 million, so you'd need to see buyers way lower than uh, than this. Next up, we've got the Ishtar actually bouncing off of 165 million, so this could be interesting. 170 for the buyers, so up from its bottom. 185 million almost for the sellers. 15 million is uh, margin 10 percent here um yeah definitely increasing the price of the ishtar so this this low here although i think too early uh or if you consider a six month chart was a decent opportunity next up here we got the manticore also dropping towards 22 million buyers are still at 22 so i would not make a move on this just yet seeing where we come from next up we've got the nemesis bouncing off of 18 million um buyers 18.3 sellers almost 20 million so again i don't think i see a good opportunity here the oneros though that is interesting in my opinion we are definitely hitting a six month low here uh, at 140 and the buyers are going to be exactly below 130 million for an oneros longer term i'm seeing an opportunity here i don't think it's that bad to invest in oneros uh, it's it, there is a slight risk there always is but this is clearly no demand for these ships 130 million uh six month low and you're even below the chart on the buy orders so i think that that could be interesting claw maybe but on euros longer term i think that that could definitely be a good investment uh, next up we've got a purifier still staying in between the charts here so the buyers are still at 18 million uh, which i think i'd like to see them below that by quite a bit next up we've got the raptor also settling here so i don't see an immediate opportunity here 21.3 22.3 so just 1 million that's less than five percent that's a very thin margin uh, i i don't really see this as a good opportunity just yet and next up here we get the scimitar also settling above 140 bottom 120 top 180 uh, again i don't like this one either although there's not that much demand 135 uh, for the buyers is still here on the chart so no nope, but the oneros the oneros chart looks very interesting to me but uh, yeah take two um, the take two market 
I'd love to, to be able to tell you that this is still going to be where you want to do your active trading, but with the new taxes, it could be that that switch to something else. So be careful when you actually make the investments. I wouldn't jump on any of these except when you are really definitely heading very low and there are no buy orders. Next up, Tech Tree uh, 2920. Let's take a look at these. We'll start with the destroyers here. We've got the Confessor going down in price as well to 48 million now, but uh, managing to settle. Uh, 45 million for the buyers, 47 million for the sellers. Again, 5%. Uh, it's not a big margin here. It is on, on the downtrend. So um, despite that, pretty damn big volumes for the Confessor as well. So that means that I think we are in an oversupply situation for these. Next up, we've got the Hecate, very similar, very slow, gradual downtrend, um, heading towards 45 million. So 40 million for the buyers, 47.5 million for the sellers. I think there's mostly buyers that have been uh, sold to straight away. So the buyers have gone much lower, um, but sellers have managed to maintain. So it's not all too drastic. Oversupply though, 240 here, that in the last 24 hours and here, uh, two days ago 99 80 73 63 36 i think that does show that there's way more coming to the market than is being used at the moment next up we've got the jackdaw holding on at around 49 million something like that so 44 for the um, buyers 47.5 for the sellers new jackdaws coming in full front page that's more than 200 jackdaws coming in here which is of course going to decrease the price on the chart uh, again oversupply in the tactical destroyers and finally we get a sweeple here Ooh, crashing down towards 42 million so the buyers are at 40 million the sellers are at 44.8 million and despite that almost a full front page including 126 variables coming to the market oversupplied by quite a lot uh, for the extremely long term you could risk some buy opportunities here uh, but again that well actually yeah I, I think for the long term if it's something you, you want to park your isk in then this could be uh, a decent uh, side trade as well something to consider 50 million for these if at some point you can sell them for 60 70 million that's pretty damn decent and well they are pretty low but keep in mind that despite these low prices we have huge supply as well keep that in mind next up the the cruisers here the legion going down to 140 million so obviously being pressured by oversupply um, yeah more than a full front page of new legions 145 million buyers though 130 million um, these are buy order prices that i've seen before uh, but that was when the tech tree market was oversupplied for years before the destroyers came in so it looks like in general now we are in an oversupplied tech tree market once again loki very similar dropping to 140 uh, buyers almost non-existent coming in at 137 and despite that sellers still coming in with new loki's incredible uh, then we've got the Proteus, similar again, heading towards 140, 138.5 for the sellers, 128.4 for the buyers. Yeah, these are prices that are reminiscent of the very, very bad days for the tech tree market here. Uh, the margin here though, 10 million, 10% seems decently healthy, uh, but on a downward market, uh, again, you could invest in some of these maybe on, on some... Uh, for some very long-term investments or if you want to use them this is a good opportunity uh, but it remains decently risky uh, if uh, if the last time the tech tree market showed this pattern is any indication and then finally the tengu also settling at 150 million increased volumes but the buyers 140 the sellers 152 healthy margin of 12 million yeah looks pretty good uh, but again look at the new supply full front page of new tengus including 12 12 and 18 coming in despite this drastically lower prices so the tech tree market i'm reading this as another sign of uh, overproduction at the moment um, pretty bad news for the producers of these ships i think and then finally let's touch on the extra product 30 to 340 um, i'm going to touch on the salvage it's a it's a request uh, because of course with the new rigs for the citadels uh, this could have yet another impact what i think is going to be interesting uh, materials salvage materials 
regular ones uh, is going to be if we actually manage to get to new highs on the uh, materials that are used uh, in, in the citadel so the titanium bar up a little bit but nothing too drastic here here are the armor plates actually going down on on pretty big volume so i think that that means that basically the bottom has dropped out of these let's see where this starts 84,000 isk buyers uh, sellers had to go towards 81,000 isk buyers though 79,000 isk um, so definitely a bit of pressure here on the armor plates uh, next up we've got the neural networks yeah that's up uh, towards 25,000 isk really big volume increase right here at the tail end two of those as you can see um, but that is really interesting buyers 11,000 sellers 26,000 so this is a market that is completely dictated by the sellers or mostly dictated by the sellers uh, they're going for 26,000 but the buyers here uh, are, are that margin is huge that's more than double the price that's something completely unseen um, here that that's pretty damn crazy so people uh, if you do sell to these buyers you're you're basically losing out on a ton of money um but yeah that that's 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 crazy that's a crazy margin right here artificial neural networks the first one where i really say you can see that the market is basically dominated by the sellers and the chart here doesn't show it that well we see decrease in pricing to 20,000 isk uh, on increased volume so i think that basically a lot of these buy orders must have still been filled despite what was happening maybe a bit of an oversight by some people that's dumped their stocks or something like that maybe on on this opportunity to still sell them at these prices um, but yeah buyers have gone up to 26,000 is extremely extremely weird situation um, where the buyers are asking less than half the price of the sellers this market mostly dictated by the sellers at the moment drone transceivers up to 3,000 is almost used to be 600 isk uh, let's see where the buyers are at yeah they had to follow suit on this one 2300 2758 for the sellers here um, that is of course great opportunity that has now passed um, due to the citadel expansion so uh, it looks like um, this is one thing maybe to keep in mind for another big feature coming out a huge part of the player base is unprepared for these expansions i can make videos about it i can try to keep you guys up to date uh, but having bought uh, if you still invested in drone transceivers it still remained a bit of a gamble of course you could still have doubled your money on these in a matter of a week just because of the expansion and because so many people were not prepared for all of this burnt logic circuits though that's the exact opposite not used i suspect in the citadel rigs thus lowering in price because the buyers are now at 44,000, sellers at 50,000. um so yeah basically this is uh, all these buyers have been filled in uh, to create a margin here capacitor control circuit also at a low point uh if we start at 1.8 million we end at 1.6 million Bar buyers 1.6 million sellers 1.8 million again this for this market probably because it's not used in citadel uh, rigs um, it's it's buyer orders that have been filled out in order to create the margin people willing to dump their stocks of capacitor consoles chart mic micro circuits though up in price um, currently selling for 540 buyers 378 so the margin here again increasing you could have bought these for 350 currently selling for 540 not too bad um, again chart up to 600 so a market mostly dominated by the sellers conductive polymer up in price again as well quite drastically heading towards 2000 is used to be bought for 600 um, so 1780 for the buyers 2200 almost for the sellers um, salvaging just became uh, an interesting activity again in eve online i would say conductive uh, conductive thermoplastics managing to hold on here i suspect that could be take two judging from the blue so let's not dwell on that one too long but again the lawrence fluid another winner starts at 400 went up to 1500 currently selling for 5200 isk 10 times the price we had six months ago that's pretty damn crazy uh, if you're salvaging or you have stuff like that laying around which we still happen to have in the boss 
uh, you may want to dump that or maybe make the rigs and then try to sell those um, nanite compound up as well towards 8000 but nothing too drastic on this one let's see if we can spot another winner current pump up to 40,000 k uh, pretty decent but not a completely clear picture uh, damage artificial network though that's pretty obvious 400 isk up to 600 on the evolution jumping up to 1400 here 1284 and 1030 what could also play a bit of a part here is maybe the lower drop rate no nope, it's in data sites not in relic sites so uh no nope, uh, ignore that current pump also another big winner up to 1100 starting at 1400 current sellers 1100 three times the price drone transceiver that's going to be pretty crazy i think starting at let's say 20,000, averaging 40 50 000 isk currently buyers 200,000 isk sellers 400,000 isk <laughs> eight times the price uh, that we were averaging just three months ago enhanced war uh ward consoles a lot of speculation happening in january and actually managing to maintain its market price uh fright circuits one of the losers starting at 5600 and heading to 4000 uh, here is the consoles uh, nothing too drastic here let's see if another clear uh, loser intact armor plates 4.9 million now down to 3.7 million probably a bit of a double whammy in not being used in citadel rigs and um, being much more available due to the uh, these sites um, coming available in wormhole space man there's so much here let's see if we can spot a few more winners actually um, yeah here we go Lawrence fluid 80,000 120,000 currently selling for 350,000 isk shield emitter again a take one here starts at 500 isk for a long time went up to a thousand isk currently selling for 4,000 isk buyers 3,000 isk they had to follow suit you can dump your stocks and make three times the price if you bought them just a few months ago again showing how important it is to uh, keep up with the information here and how many people remained uh, mostly clueless about this and even me despite uh, knowing about all of this i just basically decided well i'm, I'm actually going to hold off on the rigs because i i might only want to invest in rigs for my large citadel so by the time I'm, I'm in that situation i'm hoping that the market will have settled uh, but that was just a great opportunity to actually invest your isk in this micro circuits though going down that's again take two nanite compound clear loser six month low uh, just basically uh, halving almost of the price in six months here power circuits also very similar take two salvage going down drastically here we've got power conduits starts at 200,000 isk even 100,000 before that currently selling for 400,000 isk doubling in price scorch telemetry processor you know something really really very available starts at 600 isk currently selling at 3000 isk five times the price so yeah very very good suggestion uh, a very mixed picture here sometimes you get these big winners that are quadrupling in price sometimes in tenfold the price here 600 currently selling for 4000 uh, and then sometimes whew, telemetry processor also really really high truster consoles anything that's used in these rigs is a big winner but then from time to time you've got these that are exclusively used in ship rigs and these are the clear losers uh, starting at 32k heading down to 18,000. and then here we get the world consoles another winner starts at 7,000 disc ends at let's see here 12,000 disc not one of the big ones but all right so yeah the salvage market is going to be pretty volatile for a while because it's gonna take uh, a while to uh, get the cit citadels running to, to gauge the demand of all of these new rigs and things like that but it is definitely uh, pretty interesting uh, it shows how important information can be uh, when it comes to the um, to the expansions and the big features that ccp um, actually uh, announces uh, one other th uh, side note uh, which i didn't get to cover here but it's something that that also came out of fanfest is um there is let's say 3000 trillion isk in stuff uh, at current valuation in new eden there's only a trillion isk in the game so there's three times more value in stuff 
presumably compared to the amount of isk and what i think this also shows if as i went through the salvage materials as more isk floods into these materials that are in high demand it means that there's just less isk available in the other stuff and uh, so these six month low prices if everything settles down could still be investment opportunities albeit decently risky of course because if those goods get flooded um, alongside all the other salvage materials because of these increased prices uh, then of course um, it's it's a bad idea um, but but there is something more to the fact that there is three times more value in stuff uh, on the market compared to the amount of isk that is available and that will yeah that that's that's a very high level thing to keep in mind as well i think uh, because as um, prices have gone up as isk has flown into these uh, salvage materials probably into a lot of that stuff from citadels and stuff like that as well isk has flown out of stuff like the plex uh, stuff like the other salvage materials that are not used in the citadel rigs and things like that um, so uh, maybe I, I should take a look at that and make a separate video on this uh, but it's also a thought i wanted to share uh, especially seeing all the differences between the winners and the losers uh, in this uh, salvage material market anyways that's it for this eve talk then guys thank you very much for watching it's going to be an interesting few weeks i think but for now I'll see you guys next time.